Serdecznie witam wszystkich zgromadzonych. Teraz biorą udział klasy. Klasa pierwsza A. Jest pierwsza A? Pierwsza B? Druga C? I trzecia D. Witam serdecznie przedstawicieli firmy Wimet, pana Zdzisława Domczyńskiego oraz pana Wiktora Sajdaka i oddaję głos. Witam wszystkich serdecznie. Jak po poprzednich spotkaniach? Super. To chciałem wam dzisiaj zrobić inspirującą niespodziankę. Opowiedzieć o czymś takim, co się każdemu może w tym współczesnym świat, w świecie przydać. A mianowicie, jak łatwo komunikować się w języku obcym. W biznesie jest coś takiego, że czas jest niezwykle cenną wartością. Pamiętacie, ja wam mówiłem taką przypowieść o czasie, prawda? Dlatego dzisiaj chciałbym zrobić dwie rzeczy w jednym. A mianowicie opowiedzieć wam o tym w języku angielskim. Why? Because from one reason you will have some kind of lesson, English lesson, some of you will be very, very happy understanding everything. Some of you will be inspired because the most of will be understood, some thing will not. Some of you will say after that, I want to understand more. And some of them will be maybe a little angry for me why he is speaking to us in English, in Poland, in lessons in my school, but As you know, we all are living in a great global village. Do you agree? Today, by internet, you have a connection with all places over the world. I'm just doing some of my exploration uh, in the area of uh, quantum medicine. So that's happened sometimes that we are connecting the Lisbon, Oslo and Karwodża. <laughs> yes, that's true. My friends from Oslo and Lisbon are consulting some of my efforts and I'm living in a small village south of Poland in Karwodża. So, everyone from you, or of you, how is correct? Everyone from you or everyone of you? Of you. You know, I am self-educated in English. Mostly I was learning my English in my car, traveling and supplying my road signs to my customers. So, that's why this presentation is how to easily communicate in foreign languages. Not how easily to speak, because some of you will say, hmm, I can make a mistake, so I will not speak. Why you don't speak? Because I can make a mistake. And then it's turn around, turn around, turn around, and it's, it's not speaking. If you get the communication, so you know how easily to communicate with, with many people. You have some uh, friendship with some schools in France, probably, or in other countries. So if you meet each other, the same age people, so that's, it's very easy for you to communicate. So I have prepared some 12 steps how to easily communicate in foreign languages, just to open, just to get you some inspirations that you can learn language everywhere, all time. So let me follow uh, for some suggestions. Of course, everyone of you can uh, turn this into your expectations, into your abilities, into your interests. But the very basic question, or maybe the most important, is why I want to communicate in language. You remember our first meeting, I had said to you the most important word is 
the most important word in life, one of the most important? I want. I want, yes. So that is a question, why I want to communicate in language? And then try to write, what is motivating you? Why to write this? Because then when you write this, then you are using your all senses. You are using your writing, you are using your hand, you are using your eyes, you are, you are using your brain. And then if, if you write, I want to speak English because I want to have a friends in over the world. Wow! So then if you use such inspiration, and then you will be feeling this inspiration, then learning will be very easy. Then, for instance, I want to meet people, I want to study, I want to this, 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 this and that. So that's why I need some other language. Then is, uh, I want to communicate. Because if you say I want to speak, hmm, when I will be speaking properly? If I want to communicate, it's just easy. Use your hands, your writing, your whatever you want. And then easily you can communicate, you can write if you are a little ashamed to speak from the beginning because now Skype or other tools are allowing you. So that is, that is much better where I will be communicating because I have to learn. You feel, you know, that sometimes, oh, because of blah, 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 and so many, so many things are blocking us and limiting us. Okay. The next, what I like very much that's also I was writing in my book <coughs> that something means more than anything little means more than something and so on and so on so if you just use a little inspiration just a few words just something some kind of communication it's something more than knowing. And if you will be doing this every day, every time, wherever you are, just a short film, just this, this, this and that, then within some little time, you will find as big progress you are doing every, every day. So, the only three new words per day is giving 1,000, over 1,000 words per year. And of course, playing with these words, because it's a very important if you know these words and next day you are using, this, learning these new words, and then you are connecting this. But where to use this? this? Use this in the mind. And you know that if you want to be a master is something, Sometimes it's enough, only 20 minutes a day. But what is important in that? What is motivating me? What is making me excited to do this, to discover, to learn, to explore? So again, today internet is giving everything. So I am now studying, studying or exploring, exploring is better word, the quantum medicine. Very fascinating, very fascinating now subject for me. Maybe you will be thinking, why man who is doing road science is thinking about quantum medicine? Why? Because it's so fascinating, it's quite new. So I will be, I was a present on the conference quantum medicine, which was in October last year on Hawaii. By just internet. Very simple. So that's try, you find something which is inspiring to learn or to discover or to explore. Do you know that you can learn language everywhere? For instance, in my case, when I was starting just a little speak, when I was traveling outside, out, uh, traveling out of Poland, so when I was leaving my home or I was entering to the plane, I was just converting my thinking and from that time I was thinking and speaking and having this internal dialogue 
only in foreign language. And then if you now will get this inspiration and then you will spend five minutes just in your mind thinking, considering, sending in other language, then this language will become your communication tool in a much deeper level. So that's why I was not preparing these lessons just because I have a lesson. Of course, I've done this presentation. I made this presentation in uh, mind mapping on my mind manager software. And then I was asked one of my employees, please, can you convert this to me to the Prezi? Prezi is a very nice software for presentation. Again, there was simple two reasons. I wanted to <coughs> inspire him to explore these 12 rules I have described. And now he is in USA. And I believe that this preparing this presentation is useful now for him to explore more and more and communicate more in English. So, you can learn everywhere. So what I have mentioned, this internal dialogue is most important. Why? Nobody is listening to you except you. And then when you create some, this path of speaking, this connection of words, and then you are just prepared for so, some communication, nobody tell you that you are wrong inside. So let's try as much as possible. So for instance, when I'm preparing myself now, Saturday I'm traveling to Portugal, and then after that I'm traveling and for a week to Austria. So of course I have no idea how is Portuguese. But of course I can speak easily English. In Austria, having ski, I will be exploring a little German because now these devices for uh, quantum medicine are from Germany. So that's, I was on a conference, this was in German, it was translated to English. So I said to myself, why not to speak German? I'm 54. I have no limitation now. Why not? If we enjoy something. So it is important, try to enjoy your language. Not, we have uh, three lessons a week. So, I was mentioning you one day having here that if someone is visiting our company and asking, I, would, I need a job, I need a job, and I'm usually giving this question, can you tell me why I should employ you in this company, but in English? And many of people, my name is... No. <coughs> so, uh, the language. It's your internal effort. Nobody can give you this. If you want, you can get this. So the second, you can think more and more, more time, and then you will be surprised traveling to other countries, how easily it will be communicated. The next, uh, can I realize that many things is approaching me to understanding and communicating language. So that you can use, for instance, emotions. Now, a lot of songs, a lot of films. And then if you explore something which is interesting for you. And then if you see this in this other language. And then mostly by your intuitive or by your nose, you are understanding this. So it's easy to get this. How I was learning Russian last two, three years. I was looking at the same films, I was hearing the same books I already knew in English or in Polish. So that's most of the, 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 the knowledge which was on those films or on these audio books, I already knew. So that's easily, this uh, language become very friendly for me. So, what is a very, very important uh, cycle I would like open for you? Is that, that why you don't speak? Because I cannot make mistake. Why you don't do make mistake? Because I don't speak. Why you do mistakes? And so on and so on and so on. So this internal dialogue, 
It means your thoughts, your thinking, your considerations, just giving you this opportunity. Because everyone from us, everyone from us, is having every day 24 hours. One is sleeping six, one eight, one ten. And then we do something. And what is the problem for you today if you look for some films to look only in English? You will be totally surprised how quickly you will communicate and speak. You know that Poland was a close country by many years, so when I was young there was no possibility to have an easy access to foreign languages. But in other countries like Denmark, like Holland, like Netherlands, like many, many countries, most of people speak, for instance, English. Why? Because on the most program, the subtitles were, or in English, which if this program was in a, in a native language, or uh, in the local language, if this was an uh, English broadcast, most of people, why? It was easy. What has happened now in Poland? Everyone from you have this possibility. So this circle, try to forget about this. And then change the self-concept. The self-concept is a also very, very important key for changes. Self-concept is something what you are creating about you. And again, some of you will say, I want, and many of the of people will say, I can't. Why? Because of this, 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 this. No, it's not true. It's not true. Everything is in our hands. Please believe me, I'm observing myself many years and this business, what I'm doing and so on. So I, we are employing almost 200 people and I can easily recognize how many people are getting some interesting challenges and how many people are presenting only obstacles. So the self-concept is very, very important. And if from today, if from today you will get or you will change or you will improve this your self-concept that I will be speaking easily one, two, three languages and with pleasure I will be thinking or I will be reading or I will be writing or I will be communicating that's up to you because this mostly in your free time Probably you uh, heard about these old methods that to be in a state of alpha, our mind is relaxed and so on and so on. When, when this mind is really relaxed? When you enjoy something. Enjoy means you like this. And then everyone from you has some hobbies, some interests. Why not explore this in other languages? This will be really motivating you, inspiring you. You can share, now you can share this with almost everyone over the world. Because probably over the world, 60 or 70 percent of nation has access to the global communication. It's the only question, will you find something which is very interesting and inspiring for you? I'm sorry, teachers, but I will say that grammar, from my experience, is not most important. Because sometimes, sometimes there is a lot of focus put on the proper grammar and rules and language rules and it is repeated, repeated, repeated. So that's why I'm telling, on my experience, when I was communicated, communicated quite clear, then I asked one day my friend and teacher in Oxford, can you explain me grammar? And he got the four 
pages of, of A4 format paper, and within three or four hours, he explained me all these most important rules. And this was very clear why. Because I have been doing, I have done, I will be doing, I did, I done, I was... At this moment, everything become much clearer. Why? Because the language was what that was that time very friendly for me. Why? Because I could communicate. Probably, if I would start from first learning grammar and then to communicate, probably up to now I would be very frightened. So it's a very, very simple question. If you meet someone on the street and he will be asking you in a terrible Polish, no one will be criticizing him. Every one of you will be trying to help him. And this is everywhere. So one of the uh, moments which was for me most inspiring or most supportive for me was in my second year when I, when I decided and started to learn English. I was visiting exhibition for road safety and road science in UK. And I was really frightened. And then I was going for the stand and asking, can I ask of this product? I'm sorry, little speak English. And few of people, just a few of people, have said, Hello, guy, but your English is better than my Polish. And then I remember I was eating sandwich in a restaurant. And then, yes, yes, my English is better than their Polish. Yes, yes. <coughs> what has happened? I have changed some concepts, self-concept, sorry. So that's, I was afternoon visiting that stand and said, can you explain it slowly, please, slowly, please. Can you repeat, can you repeat, slowly. And then the situation has, has, uh... so when you will start more and more communicate, so you have a many, 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 many tools. And then, if you connect this with what you are really like, then, so let you try to translate that so quickly, Sam. Jeżeli praca jest przyjemnością, to życie jest zabawą. Jeżeli nauka jest przyjemnością, to życie Jest zabawą, dotyczy was. Hmm? So, if my learning is my pleasure for me, then my life is enjoyment. If my work is a pleasure for me, then my life is enjoyment. So that's why not. If you have something which is interesting for you, you are exploring this. And then it is not only, not only language. It is opening your mind connections and then you, are, you can be much more fluent in many other things. And the most important, yes, I can. So, now everywhere you can find whatever books you want. Whatever subject you have can be easily found. So then you have... A, Millions of films. Probably now some of people are telling that if something is not in YouTube, that is doesn't exist. So it means in YouTube is existing everything. And then again, you can explore this, this, and that. And of course, internet chats. So when I was preparing, I was invited to Russia to give a presentation about innovations in road safety in Poland. And then I realized, why not to say this in English? So within 
just a few minutes, I have found a teacher by Skype of Russian, and then he was helping me to prepare this presentation in Russian because technical language, uh, technical Russian language, is, it's, I would say, very difficult. So this was just a few Skype meetings, and then I surprised the 350 people because not only I was presenting the subject in Russian, and they are very proud if someone is speaking their language, but also I was singing in Russian. So quickly all 300 people knew me. Oh, this is friend of from Poland. But I have spent just only a few hours, and then I get the many, many friends in Russia. Next, can I be greedy? Chive greedy? Do you know another word in English? Chive? Probably greedy is correct. Hmm? Because this not only relates to language, this relates what you want in your life. Because if many of you know that uh, if, they are, if you are interested in something, then you are doing everything to get this. So when I was communicating, communicating better and better in English, then everywhere, everywhere, I was, oh, someone is speaking in English. So, excuse me, what is the time? Ah, where are you from? Ah, oh, your country is beautiful. And then the communication was started. This, those lessons were for free. But if I would think I will not say because I can make a mistake, if I wouldn't open myself, then I wouldn't have a many, many friends I met in planes, in trains, in many, many, many places. Uh, 2010, I was visiting Shanghai, you know that that time was World Expo. And then one day we were traveling and just, uh, I went to the coffee bar to get the coffee and then I, I have seen a nice young lady reading a book in Chinese. So I just, excuse me, I like to read books, you speak <coughs> English, yes I do. So can you explain me how you are reading in uh, Chinese. And she was reading, so this was just this subject she's interesting with. And then we today communicate, I'm inviting her here, she's been uh, inviting me to China to come and say, why? Because I just opened myself for communication. We spent a very nice time exploring Poland for Chinese people, China for Polish people, and many, many, many things. It's a question just to open. So, as I mentioned, how easily today is find some teacher or friend just to communicate just for free. Because you can help someone to explore Polish, someone can explore to you some other language. It's really now, it's really, really easy. So, and then to exchange, you have this opportunity in your school. So it is great. Because if you are meeting other nations, then you can explore. You can learn many, many interesting things. The next question, I don't know exactly how to translate this. Odpuścić sobie nie napinać się. But fortunately you understand this in Polish. But what is going on? that if you use this word, I want, I like, it's interesting, it's inspiring, instead of I have to, we must, that is changing. But of course, you are young people. The life is in front of you or before you, how to say this? So I'm doing this thing, sorry. But I communicate quite well, almost 29 minutes, I'm just speaking. So it's less important than communication. 
So it means that if you do something with pleasure, enjoying this, the results can be great. So this is what I have said. I have to. Immediately is blocking you. I like this. I want this. It is changing your approach to this. So you can enjoy every moment with language. Probably if you get the whole nice book, we books which are now in the shops, how to learn language, how to improve your language skills, blah, 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 blah. Probably these short lessons include everything. Because a lot of time I was reading next and next and next, but I was not at applying some activities just immediately. So this can be really inspiring. That's why Victor now is recording this. I, we will play the, put this on our uh, foundation homepage because I want to share with many people. There was not such an um, uh, easy uh, approach to things like you have, but it's up to you. You will use this or you will not. There are a few guys who is all time interrupting me. Yes, yes. You are interrupting me. I'm sorry, but you are uh, interrupting also other people. Probably they don't understand what this word interrupting. Przeszkadzacie mi chłopcy. So, uh, enjoy every moment with the foreign language. And next, now it's again very easy access to audiobooks, to films. So, for instance, in my mobile, always I have a several, several audiobooks in many subjects. Because sometimes I like music, sometimes I like psychology, sometimes I like physics, something, always I have something with me. Especially when I'm preparing myself for some traveling. Because then I'm exploring subject and I'm exploring language. Just when I will jump to other country, just to communicate quite easy especially traveling to UK or USA, because this is native language for them. So they are speaking quickly, and sometimes it's, it's a problem to, to get what they are speaking about. What is the funny? We as a Polish are much more smart than British or than Americans. Because you know, English is worldwide language, so most of young people in those countries are much more lazy than you are because every one of you are speaking two or three or four languages. And what is a funny story with Americans? There is a, some, uh, some anecdotes that if try someone to understand them, they are speaking much loudly because they are thinking that they will be understood. They will not. They will not. But it's a funny. So, you are more advanced in some languages because you communicate. So, what is a, what is a, you know that now our media, unfortunately, 70 or 80% of, of news are bad news. Informing about accidents, about terrible events, about this situation, what this he said, what that said, and so on. So easily, if you just you will switch on some some communicating channel, but in other languages, so that you will be informed what is happening over the world, like for instance BBC or CNN or, or other. Then, if you look the films with subtitles or in origin language. And then, what will happen? Try some of, maybe all of you, or maybe some of you, this one hour power for day. What it means this one hour 
of power. It's a 20 minutes for meditation and visualization of dreams and goals. We were speaking about what I want. It really works and helps. And then, if you use 20 minutes, just 20 minutes, but every day, for some physical exercises, then your body will be really fit. And of course, quite well being you will have. And then, just almost 20 minutes, not for your duties for school, because it's another obligation, but to explore this, what is interesting for you. And if you just will do two simple things. One, I will be exploring this subject in other language. Then you have a two pleasure. You exploring language and you are exploring this subject. So, please consider, is it a lot of time or it is only one hour? And this one hour can change your life forever if your dream or goal is really interesting and inspiring for you. Can I understand that the jokes or poems or songs, everything is learning me. I've got up early one morning and rushed right into the day. I had so much to accomplish, so I didn't have time to pray. Problems just stumbled about me and heavier came to task. Why doesn't God help me, I wonder? He answered, you didn't ask. I wanted to see joy and beauty, but the day toilet on gray and bleak. Why doesn't God show me, I wonder? He answered, you didn't seek. I wanted to beg to God's presence. I used all my keys at the knock. God gently, lovingly chided, my child, you didn't know. I wake up early this morning and paused before entering day. I have so much to accomplish, so I have a time to pray. I have found this postcard in some church close to Oxford. And just within a few hours, I knew this by heart, why it was so inspiring. So please try find a moment which is enjoyable for you with, with language. This can be also your inspiration for your job or your, in your school. So this is just over of this uh, presentation. I think that I touch many aspects. I would love to have some now questions or comments or something. So thank you for listening to me and hope that you, it will be useful for you. Any questions?